welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about avatars, angels, guides, and the higher self. We all are familiar with the higher self, our higher self, our guides and angels. And uh, some of you are probably familiar with the terminology of avatar. And I'm not talking about the movie that the Hollywood came up with. Uh, avatar. I'm going to explain those. There are avatars on the planet or they've been born or they've been previously or they still come and go that these are awakened spiritual beings that also possess spiritual powers. And now you can be, you can come to powers. In Sanskrit, they call it cities, city. And, um, but you're not certainly awake. You can develop incredible spiritual powers, but you're not awakened. Or you can awaken and realize the self, but you don't have this kind of spiritual powers. An avatar is one that is fully is fully realized. It's a yani, as well as acquired spiritual powers so for example let's talk about mamri tananda mai the divine mother amaji the the hugging hugging mother and a lot of you in in this field have heard from her yeah how many people have heard of ama the, the hugging mother okay amaji is an avatar She's a living avatar right now on this planet. Uh, I've seen her. I've been around her. Not for a long time, but I have seen what can come out of her and what sort of power makes itself available to her. Now, it's not that she, it's a, not a personal power. So it's not something that you possess and you can be proud of and take it home with you and use it anytime you want. Uh, it, it's not that. So, but she's fully realized and she's a, she's a total, completely living proof of an avatar on the planet. Um, let's... And I have had, I've been lucky in this life, I've had different encounters with a few avatars in this life. At the time, maybe I didn't realize or knew the depth and the significance of an avatar at that moment. But later on, as I became spiritually more mature, I began to realize like wow that was an encounter that i had and uh which was a blessing really a blessing because not many people come across that in the in their lifetime well we can get into this later if i forget about it just ask me question or remind me and i get more into it and talk about it uh, we talk about higher self and angels. And uh, a lot of people can get caught into this whole thing. Uh, guides, angels, higher self. And it can easily become an ego trip. And I've seen so many people still today they easily fall into this trap and their ego takes over. They're like, 
I have half people in the spiritual circle saying, yeah, my guides, my guides, my angels. And, uh, and you can see is the way somebody says, my guides, my angels, as if I am very special. And these are mine. They belong to me. And um, I'm better. I'm better than you. I'm better than everybody else because I'm connected. Um, everybody's connected. Every single thing on this, in this existence is connected. Everything is that. Everything is made out of God, out of the presence, out of consciousness. There's nothing on this planet which is not connected. Everything is connected. And higher self, we all have higher self. Our higher self resides in fifth dimension. It's got, we all have one foot in fifth dimension and one foot on earth as well as simultaneously being in different dimensions. Well, multidimensional beings. So this, I want to make it clear so we can remove this part and help you not be caught into this me, me, me. I am connected. And therefore, it makes me better than everyone else or special because you then you're falling back into this egoic trap. And, and if you're not saved out of it and you don't realize it, well, you're going to stay where you're at and you're just going to go around yourself. And, uh, it's like people are with their gurus, with their teacher, and they get very, very protective of their guru or their teacher or style of teachings and what they're studying. And, and they get very angry. If you say something against their teacher, if you criticize their teacher or their teachings, and they get very angry. And, and also they start, the group starts having an attitude that oh we are better we're more conscious than the rest of humanity because they're not going this path and you can see it easily with religions you know religion is like any organization any religion that has its own identity and name and everything is simply it believes that it's better than the other ones. And you can see it with the gurus and, and teachers and teachings as well. It's the same story. There's no difference. So the higher self, our guide, obviously we're all, all of you who are on this path have noticed that there is a connection. You feel connected. And the deeper you are in this path, the deeper you come, you go within yourself, the more you feel this connection. So there is a connection. There is a, con there is a communication happening. There's constantly communication. Constantly you get information you get visions you get or you may hear a voice or guidance and this is happens or been happening to you from your childhood and to which degree we're noticing it and we're involved with it it's different of course with everybody else and now you may be growing up in a mainstream family and uh, let's say you're the one who's heard the calling you're the one who's connecting to the higher self 